So what can go wrong when we're exchanging tens in subtraction? Well, the first mistake is for a pupil to exchange a 10, so take a 10 out of the tens column, but actually just write it in the wrong place in the units column. So effectively, it looks like 31. Some pupils might actually read this as 13 and go on to do 13 take away 5 is 8 and get the right answer, but that's a bit of a pointer to the fact they may actually not be entirely secure with teen numbers. The second thing that can happen is that pupils can actually read that now as 31 and say 31 take away 5 equals 26 and write 26 in the answer line and then go on to complete the calculation. Obviously if they look at the size of the answer they should be able to see that this can't be right. Another mistake that can be made with exchanging is again to exchange a 10 but this time a lack of understanding that we've actually got a whole 10 leads a pupil to just add this one that they've taken out of this column into the units and say that there are now four. And when they look at this calculation again, they see four take away five still isn't going to work. They need another 10. So they will take another 10 out, leaving four tens, and again, add it onto this column as a one to give five. And then it will work, five take away five is zero, but obviously it will be the wrong answer. So pupils need to be secure with the knowledge that this is a 10 going into a units column, so it cannot be added on as a one, and using base 10 equipment can reinforce that.